All right, thanks again, everybody, for joining. The title of today's post is Google Fiber, Surfing at the Speed of Light. So we're just going to start out by doing a little brief overline about what we're going to run through today. First part is just a, a Google Fiber overview. So for anybody that doesn't live in Kansas City or isn't familiar with um, you know, the Google Fiber product, what exactly is it? How does it work? You know, what locations can you currently get Google Fiber? What are the packages and the installation components? What are some of the online pieces? And then, you know, what does a, a raw speed test look like? <clears throat> I'm going to look at some comparison and analysis. So I'm going to look at uh, uh, the current uh, ISP that I was using prior to this, which is a cable provider. Also look at some speed tests, uh, file download and upload. Then we'll actually look at some price to performance comparisons between Google Fiber and um, that cable provider. And finally, we'll wrap up with a conclusion. So just to start out, for anybody that may not be familiar with exactly what um, you know the fiber and Google Fiber is, there's traditionally three wired ways of delivering internet to uh, your residents. The first traditional way is a twisted pair, or what you might notice as a traditional telephone wire. Um, this is an electrical signal that travels over four copper wires. This is traditionally the cheapest um, delivery form but it also has the lowest bandwidth. So the, um, you know, this is what DSL connections run over. If you use AT&T U-verse, that's running over this. Um, and it, <coughs> it really is the, the lowest bandwidth of the three options we'll look at today, um, with a theoretical maximum of about 100 megabits per second. And we'll, we'll explore a little bit further what, um, what that term means. Uh, the other method is uh, coaxial, uh, or traditionally cable. Um, this is a uh, again, an electric signal that travels over a single metallic conductor in the middle of the cable. Um, this, is a mo uh, this, this form of transmission is moderate cost and also is moderate bandwidth. Uh, the theoretical maximum transfer speed over a coaxial is about one gigabit per second, which is right on par with um, uh, what Google Fiber is currently being offered at. The final method, and the one that Google Fiber actually transfers over, is uh, fiber optic cabling. So what fiber optic cabling is, is it's actually um, a, a cable made out of glass tubes, and then you're actually transmitting optical or, or light over the, those glass tubing stuff to transfer your signal. So rather than having an electric signal traveling over metal, you basically have light traveling through glass. Um, it is the most expensive option. Um, and it is uh, very high bandwidth. In fact, um, the theoretical maximum limit of this uh, cabling has, has not been reached yet by, by any engineer. So that's, that's pretty crazy to think of how, uh, how much flexibility this technology is going to have going forward. And, uh, you know, this is also the reason that, you know, you don't see fiber everywhere. You can't just um, get it in any city you're living in because it does take... Uh, a, a lot of work to, to roll this out and to wire your house or your apartment building with this fiber optic cabling. <clears throat> so with that said, what exactly is a gigabit? Google Fiber advertises their speed at a gigabit or one capital G small b. So what exactly does that mean? So when we're looking at uh, kind of a uh, digital technology makeup of storage space, 8 bits is equal to 1 byte, 1 gigabit then is equal to 0.125 gigabytes, so capital G, capital B, um, which is also equal to 125 megabytes. So you may be f pretty familiar with what a, what a megabyte is, um, <clears throat> and that is uh, a per second transfer speed that Google Fiber offers. That also translates to about 7.5 gigabytes per minute. You should also be pretty familiar with um, a gigabyte. So what, what does that actually translate to? So if you were to download a typical CD or, or full music album, that's about 200 megabytes. Google Fiber could theoretically download that in 1.6 seconds. Again, if you were to download uh, something through iTunes like Iron Man Blu-ray, uh, which is about 15 gigabytes, you could download that in about two minutes. So pretty impressive speeds when you start to think about what that translates to in the real world. So now to kind of understand a little bit more about Google Fiber, let's see uh, you know, where you can get it. So right now, I'm in Kansas City. Um, I just subscribed to Google Fiber. Um, as you can see on the map here, it is also being rolled out in Austin and Provo, Utah. So you see here the three green cities where it's located. 
and they're also uh, Google Fiber is also planning to expand to these other cities on the map. So um, they are really trying to fairly aggressively uh, roll this technology out across the country. Again, it does take some time and, and quite a bit of cost to wire fiber optic cabling into all these residences, but it's pretty great technology. So what does a Google Fiber package look like? So Google Fiber, uh, at least in the Kansas City area, offers these three pricing options. Uh, you can get free internet here for zero dollars a month, and that's free for, I believe, seven years. Um, uh, that's five megabit per second down, one megabit per second up, which is pretty comparable to a standard plan that you could get through um, your, your cable or DSL provider. Uh, the plan that I'm currently subscribed to is the internet, which is $70 a month. That is the full gigabit. It also includes one terabyte of storage and a network box. They also, Google, Google Fiber also offers the, that same internet package plus a TV package, which includes 150 HD channels, um, plus a TV box and a storage box for kind of doing your DVR at about $120 a month. So again, both of those are, um, I think, very uh, competitive prices for what they offer. So just to give you a little uh, personal experience of um, what I experienced as the as Google Fiber was installed um, in Kansas City. Anybody who who lives here is very very familiar with these little trucks, but uh, Google Fiber literally has an army of these these little European uh, trucks, if you will, um, that drive around and just in school in, install Google Fiber. So that's just the the truck pulling up outside of my apartment. Um, these are then kind of the components that come with the Google Fiber package. You get a little welcome pack with uh, all of the information that you need. You get this network box, which is the fiber modem and the router for um, translating the signal into a way that's usable by your computers. And then you also get this cool little fiber conversion box. So uh, again, uh, you know the. Google Fiber uh, installation technician will actually run a piece of fiberglass cabling, um, fiber optic cabling right into your house. It'll plug into this box, and this box will actually translate that signal into a, a Cat5 cable that you can then plug into your computer. The next piece I'm going to talk about here is the the online management interface. So uh, once Google Fiber is installed, this just syncs up with your Gmail account. So in here you can see you have a you can look at your account, change your plan, update any customer details. You can also um, do all of your billing and, and payments through here. And you also have this nice little network tab. So what that allows you to do is it allows you to quickly and easily um, within your, your just logging into your Gmail account to manage your your Wi-Fi network, uh, and then also any any other settings that come with your network box or your router, and also run a speed test. So anybody who's managed um, you know their router before and has had to try to remember the the IP address and what the admin password is for that model of that router um, can 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 probably relate here that this is a much simpler and easier way to get in and manage um, your settings. Again, here uh, lets you log into the advanced interface if you do want to get into any of those more uh, advanced settings, like setting up your DSH, uh, DHCP, or anything else. All right. So with that, I think that's kind of the the round out of the you know kind of the the intro and the, the overview of some of the tools. Uh, next, we're just going to jump into a speed test and see what we got here. Alright, so now that we know a little bit more about how Google Fiber works and all the components of it, we're going to get into the real meaty question of just how fast is it. So, in the Google Fiber management panel here, they do offer a speed test tool built in. So we're going to go ahead and just click that, select the wired connection that we're set up through, and then see how um, the raw speed comes through in, in the download test here. So, as you see it's starting up, uh, you see we're hitting about 650 megabits per second for the download speed. Again, you see the, the one gigabit total down in the bottom there. So coming in a little bit under, well, uh, kind of a significant amount under the advertised speed of one gigabit. Now as the upload's going, we're seeing that this is actually getting significantly more here, so pushing 900 megabits a second. <coughs> And so as we wrapped up there, you see that the download is about 650 megabits per second of actual throughput we're getting, whereas the upload is pushing about 900 megabits per second. So 
There's a lot of different factors that can be affecting that, why those numbers aren't uh, full one gigabit per second. We'll take a look at that in just a little bit.